Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. It is 2 p.m. on a Thursday, and I'm hoping I find you well. My name is Prosper Taruvinga, and if this is your first time watching, um, I'm the founder and CEO of um, Live Long Digital, your one stop shop in Melbourne that um, helps you with all your digital marketing needs. And I'm also the creator of the Online Prosperity Blueprint, your four step system that um, helps you market, scale, and grow your online business. Now, I see LA Williams has just tuned in. Thank you so much for tuning in. Samantha, how's it going? Erica, everybody is joining in. Thank you so much, guys. I can feel the love um, all the way across the world right there. Now, before we really get started, I've got a question that I want you to type in the comments there and let me know if you actually know what the answer for this is pertaining to your own uh, business. All right. So my question for you is, Erica, Barry, um, L.A. Williams, why exactly will people pay you for your products and services? I want you to answer that in the questions there. Uh, Samantha, can you tell me why do people pay you for your services or your products? Um, Erica, can you tell me why people pay you for your services and your products? Um, LA Williams, can you tell me why people pay you for your products and your services? Darren Carrington, if you're still watching, can you tell me why people pay you for your products and services? Brendan Tan, please type in the comments there why people are actually paying you to do the work that you're doing, all right? So obviously, once while people are typing there, um, I might as well just introduce what I'm, I want to talk to you today about, okay? I want you, after this show, to be able to know the difference between features and benefits of what it is that you're selling. Joel, thank you so much for tuning in. Now, Samantha says because they want or need the product, um, they benefit from the product. And uh, Erica says, I provide value and solutions. Okay. All right. Joel says because they want a solution. Pretty good. L.A. Williams says because they believe it's going to um, alleviate their pain and bring them immense pleasure. Just, I, don't, I don't know what you're selling there, L.A. Williams. But I know it's all in good um, fortune. All right. So if you know the difference between features and benefits, I would want to assure you that this will make a total difference to your bottom line. All right. Um, I might be wrong or I might be way off, but I know that every person that I normally talk to who's within my audience right now has no leads right now has no guaranteed income right now is studying everything to get ahead right now does not have a system to follow right now they don't have a process to follow and in the process of them not knowing all of this they want to be growing their audience they want a business that's profitable and enjoyable and they want um you know, to, 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 to grow their business from where it is right now to where it goes, all right? So the benefit of them listening and watching this video today is because they know they will find or learn something that will help them earn more money with less struggle. Did you see what I just did there? Now, the thing is, you got to know what your customers want and you got to know what results they're after. All right, because at the end of the day, um, uh, what is it? Alex says your website has a huge gap at the top and doesn't have HTTPS. Might want to update that. That's fine. We're working on creating a whole new website. I know you might be looking on something to get a number on me, but yeah, I can understand um, what you're saying. But at the end of the day, what I'm trying to say is you got to let people know what results you are about to offer people, all right? What results are they going to get from working with you? What results are they going to get from your business or from, um, you know, doing business with you? Now, this is a big dilemma of everybody else who's trying to sell something online. The funny thing is, it's actually very crucial and it's a crucial concept that makes, um, you know, people want to buy your stuff or not buy your stuff. 
All right. And the main reason why other people succeed in business and others don't succeed in business. People do not buy things just because you are presenting it to them. People buy what they want to become. People buy what they will become or people buy the benefits of what it is that you're offering. Now, that's the reason why when I ask you the question, why exactly will people pay you for your products and your services? All right. That's why you would notice that a lot of people start off their businesses just based on two factors alone, you know, because they're good at doing something or they're good at uh, motivating people or they're good at, um, you know, uh, talking to people in public, etc., etc. And then they just assume that just because they are good at doing that, people are just going to come and buy for that reason alone. All right. So at the end of the day, those assumptions are actually very correct about their business. It might be what they're good at. They might be very good at creating processes. They might be very good at telling people what's wrong with their websites. But is that what the person actually wants? Do they want a website that works or do they want clients? Do people want to come to your gym to lift heavy things or do they want to fit in their clothes? Do people want to come and lift heavy things at your gym or do they want to fit into their wedding dress? What exactly is it that the customer is coming to you for? Are they coming to you so that they can network with other people or are they coming to you so that they can actually, um, you know, have a business that's profitable so they can look after their families? All right. So if you're not uncovering the results of what it is that you're offering your customers, they're not going to know what you're selling to them. They're not going to know what it is that you benefit them. And that's the biggest dilemma of a lot of entrepreneurs. No one knows what you do. No one knows what you can help them for. The customer is sitting there on the other side questioning themselves. What's in it for me? All right. How does your work answer that question how does your service answer that question for the customer what's in it for me just because you're good at creating websites it doesn't mean people want websites just because you're good at creating apps it doesn't mean that people want apps just because you're good at creating um what 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 else are people doing these days just because you know a thing or two about the cryptocurrency doesn't mean that people want that all right. People are assuming just because there's a book or you've written a book, everybody would want to buy that. No, it's just going to be yet another book in somebody's shelf. What are the results? What is the benefit that you're actually offering? Have you proven that your, 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 your product works? Who has proven it? Is it yourself or is it somebody else that has utilized that product and has results and can vouch for you that you are the person to provide that service? Good day, Paul. How's it going, man? Thanks for tuning in, by the way. All right. So like I'm saying, a lot of businesses are started because of somebody else's passion. All right. And then they don't, they just think just because they're good at making coffee and because everybody else drinks coffee, why would somebody drink your brand? Yeah. All right. So, you know, at at the end of the day, you might have a really good product with all the bells and whistles, et cetera, et cetera. But what's in it for the customer? Uh, Genovia says that's the assumption that um, has been peddled by network marketing vouchers for years. (laughs) Just because you've got a good product, it doesn't mean I've got a shelf space for it. It doesn't mean I've got space enough to download your app. It doesn't mean I've got enough capacity to want to learn how your product works. All right. What's in it for the customer? What are the results that the customer is going to get? And why would they leave what they're doing currently so that they come and join your, your, your group or whatever it is that you're paddling to them? Because the one thing that people don't realize as well as entrepreneurs is these people that we're going and reaching out to. They were not born yesterday. You are not the first person to reach out with that particular product that you have. Why would they want to go with you instead of going with Jovial or with Mike or with Sally? All right. It's because we are only just mentioning features of the product. All right. And some people might not know what what it is that differentiates a feature and a benefit. And why that is very 
important because some people might say, oh, I don't need to be watching this. You know why? Because I know what my product does and I know what results it will get. But are you sure that's why the customer will end up giving you their credit card? Are you sure that your product is actually solving a need that if it's not solved, the, 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 the customer's pain won't go away? All right. You see, I, I see a lot of people putting things like, uh, you know, this is um, a one click financial report. Uh, this we will create for you custom programs or oh, our shop is open for 24 hours or oh, this thing comes batteries included. What 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 is that information going to benefit a customer? We know, yes, you're open 24 hours, but what's the benefit of you getting open 24 hours for somebody who doesn't care about that? So your mission is to actually make people care about why your business exists and why they should care about the results that they're going to get after utilizing your product. Timothy, how's it going, man? And Henry, nice to meet you guys today. All right. So if you're just going to peddle your product just because it's got batteries included, each feature is just pretty much a factual statement about the product or the service that's being promoted. Okay, that's fine to know. It's good to know that your gizmo comes with batteries included. So what? What is in it for me that I have to carry that thing with batteries included? All right? And um, Joviana says we have to ask what they want and then provide it. Exactly, because your point as a business person is to service a need. All right. What need or do they need, um, you know, to, to, to run away from? Because as we all know it, people are always running away from their pain. And if your product is providing the bridge, then you become the person that can solve that pain for them. And they would be happy to pay you or give you a credit card, um, you know, pertaining to that. So what is the benefit? What's in it for me engaging with your product? What's in it for me engaging with your services? Why should I care? All right. So every day as an entrepreneur, you should constantly be answering that question for your customers. Because if you're just going to mention features, oh yeah, because this is good for you. It would look good on your wall. So what? Oh, this is good. It already comes with batteries. So what? You know, each feature, like I said, is just a factual statement about the product or the service that is being promoted. All right. But features are not what is going to entice the person to, to purchase from you. All right. That's where you need to know what exactly are the benefits of your service or your product. All right. And when you can answer what's in it for me, then you know that the customer is being answered from, you know, an emotional level. Nicole, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in. All right. So whenever somebody says, oh, OK, so the benefits of us opening 24 hours is because you can buy at whatever time you want at your own convenience. Now, the benefit of being open 24 hours is convenience sell the convenience all right don't sell the hours that you're open i wouldn't care any less sell the convenience that whenever you think of coming to purchase anything i'm open 24 hours so i don't have a time frame that oh i have to start doing business with this person between 8 a.m and 5 p.m you know why because they're closed throughout you can't sell me that you're open 24 hours that doesn't matter to me Am I supposed to come and give you a trophy for being open at 11 p.m.? No, but I can come in and make a purchase at whatever time I feel like. All right. So when, when you when you tell me um, that, you know, you see, while it it might be easy for us to just talk about the features of the product, that's the reason why people don't actually know what it is that we do. Because you're not striking the chord or the emotion that makes them understand how they need to interact with your goods and your services. All right. You see, while all of these things that I'm talking about might just sound like they're true benefits, but they're really just a few elaborations on just fin on, on, on just features. And as Jovia says, smart, very smart. Sell the convenience, sell the benefit, not the feature. Yeah. What is truly a benefit? Benefits are results. 
All right? Benefits are the results. When somebody signs up for a gym membership, why are they doing that? They're doing that so that they can look good at the, at the, at the beach. They're doing that so that they could look good in their wedding dress. They're signing up to the gym not to go and see other sweaty guys or sweaty girls running, you know, aimlessly on a treadmill. That's not what they want. They want to look good in front of their partner. They want to be comfortable within themselves. All right. So at the end of the day, the best way to actually understand what a true benefit of your product or service is, is to answer the question that a customer always is asking. What's in it for me? So with this question in focus, all right, when you have this question in focus, you now focus on the results. You now focus on the results that you give your customer at the end. And Terrence Freeman, how's it going, man? Thanks for tuning in. I was watching one of your live videos. Great info, all right? All right? So you want to speak in the customer's eyes, in the customer's perception. You know, each feature... It is might be what attracts them to your service. You know, they might just be scrolling. And if you mention the features, it, it attracts them a little bit. But what then makes them choose your service over another person's service is because of the results that they will get if they choose to go with you. Does that, does that make... It's, it's, it's not a matter of, you know, you going in and looking for the next big... Um, you know, uh, software or whatever to make a difference in your marketing. It's just small mind shifts. Instead of looking at features, try and show the customer, okay, if you work with me, these are the results that other people are getting. These are the results that I have gotten myself. And these are the results that I hope to get for you. That's what you want to sell to your customers, who they are going to become, what they're going to become, because people buy their future. People buy who they want to become, not who they currently are. You know, right now I need a toy for my daughter, all right? And I need it with batteries. That's a feature, all right? But what am I buying? I'm buying the smiles and the happiness that it will bring to my daughter. That's what I'm buying. All right. Yes, it could be cool if if the batteries are there in the shop, we can test it, we can pr play with it. But is is that what I want? So at the end of the day, you really want to make sure you figure out what are the actual results you are actually offering. All right. If you haven't experienced the the the, the outcome, it's going to be very difficult for you to, to to let somebody know that after you've watched this video. I will tell you something, you will actually start earning a lot more money with less struggle. The, 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 you, the struggle right now that you're having is trying to convince somebody to make a purchase. But if you can show them how other people are benefiting or what sort of results you're getting for other people, it's only up to them because maybe they're broke or maybe they're not really convinced that they need it just then. That's why they only won't make a purchase. But if you are actually showing people that you are the person that has the results, that has, you know, the benefit they're looking for, or something that has been tried and tested, voila. And Phil says, but remember, features can be benefits too. Can you explain what you mean pretty much on there? Because I'm trying to differentiate what those features are and what sort of benefits. Can you give me an example of what you're, you're, you're trying to say? Because... Because when you try and sell features of your product or your service, right, you're only making, you, what you're actually doing is just making the customer do all the work to figure out why do they actually need your product, all right? Because people don't want, people have become lazy now, all right? So if you are not showing the customer the reason why they actually need this product, why they actually need to get it from you, all right, not anybody else, because if you're selling features, everybody else has features. If you're selling features, John next door has the same product, has the same features. All right, but you want to take away the homework that your customer has, because if the customer goes in and tries to figure out why they need that feature, you've already lost. You are now competing on price. You're not competing on many other aspects that would not have benefited you if you had just told the customer the results that they will get if they work with you. 
What I'm trying to help you do is earn more money with less struggle. It's just a small mindset shift. Okay? So, you know, in the seller's eyes, it's, it's in the best interest to draw that connection for them, which is very simple. Phil says certain products have a certain feature I need. That's the feature becomes the benefit. Let me know what you're selling that needs you to buy on features alone. And then I will try and see where you're going with this. Otherwise, maybe you're just trying to disrupt the weight or the flow of this conversation, you know? But you know what? At the end of the day, you need to show that you actually know what results your customer is going to get. What if you are certain that by watching this video, you will get an idea of what you're doing wrong in your marketing message. Don't you think you will have the energy and the passion to actually tell that person, no, sorry, Phil, you're doing it wrong because A, B, and C have got the results. All right. So what I'm trying to tell you, why I'm trying to tell you how to just shift that mindset. Yes, you could argue all you want, but I'm trying to make you sell more and more with less struggle. So if you just show people the results of what they're gonna get, then it's easy for them because features are a logical you know, decision that they make. You wanna strike it in the emotions. You wanna, you know, try and, um, you know, whatever it is, you know? So, um, Phil, you said it, features become benefits, they are not necessary, one in the same. Right, thank you so much, uh, Genovia, for, for coming up with that, all right? So, you know, if, if, if you've been talking, the example that I've been talking about, it's a feature that McDonald's or your shop is open 24 hours, all right? So, for me, let's say I'm going to give an, a practical, worldly example, that maybe uh, my wife is pregnant and she craves... Um, you know, uh, pickles at that particular time or ice cream. You never know what wife uh, women do, uh, you know, in real life. So I know that if I go to that McDonald's down the road, they're going to be op open and I'm not going to disappoint my wife or I'm not going to disappoint my daughter or whoever it is. That is what I'm buying. So you opening 24 hours is to buy me the convenience that I can come in anytime I feel like and not be disappointed or disappoint those that I love. Now that I would want. I want peace in my family. I don't want to care what you're doing, opening your shop 24 hours. I just want to know that how will it benefit me? So if you sell that and make it logical in the customer's, um, you know, um, you know, periphery, make them understand why your features will benefit them. What are the results? How will they win? That's all they care about, you know? So, on my experience, it's always been ice cream. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, if you are gonna sell me a product and you say, okay, batteries included, why should I care? You know, I would never, you know, um, the, the, the reason why I want the batteries already included is that we would have driven four or five kilometers from the shops and then when we get home, we realize, oh, snap, we've forgotten to buy the batteries. Now, I don't want my daughter to be angry. So that's the benefit of having the batteries, um, you know, in the toy already. So if you tell me that, I've already saved myself the embarrassment, the disappointment, and a crying toddler by just buying your product. You know why? Because it already comes, no assembly needed, or with batteries included. So you want to make it easy for the customer to make the decision, all right? Don't try and justify all these things or whatever. Just make it easy for the decision maker to make the decision. Because people are being bombarded with all these features and, you know, new gizmos coming in every single day. Why would they purchase from you? Why would they buy from you? Make it easy for that transaction to happen and you will get more coming your way. And that's the reason why I always say, whenever you watch these videos, you're going to start earning more, right? With less struggle. That's what I want for you. Less struggle in making those conversions. All right? So if you go on and you want to be a smarty pants and, and start arguing features and benefits, I'm just telling you what will make your life easier. It's easier if you help the customer make the decision. All right? Solve a problem for them and that's the benefit. 
exact amount. All right. So how do you apply all of this stuff into business? Because at the end of the day, some people would just want to be heard, you know, like feel over there. But, you know, so now that you understand a little bit about these features and the benefits, how would you then think it applies into your own business? And, you know, how can you actually start marketing your businesses um, and using that in your business? Because that's, that's what's really important. And that's the reason why you're here, you know. There's usually three things that you really want to do. And I think it's a three-step solution that they came up with. And you probably already know it. But it's not, it's, it hasn't been at, at the forefront of your brain, okay? The first thing is you got to know your customer. If you know your customer, you would know what their problem is. You would know where they want to be. You would know what they want to escape from. And you would know what results they're expecting. That's why every single time when I start these shows, I'm, I'm like really telling you, I think I know your position right now. And I'm here to give you the solution of what I think will help you. Right now, I know you don't have leads. You don't have a guaranteed income. You're studying everything to get ahead. You don't have a system to follow or you don't have a process to follow. All right. And in the midst of all that, what is it that you probably want? You probably want, you know, valuable content that will help you start scale and grow your business. Do you know what I mean? You probably want proven systems so that you can plug your things here and then move you so that you, 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 you earn more money with less struggle. Nobody wants to struggle in their business. That's why after watching these videos, your business becomes profitable and enjoyable. That is the benefit of sitting around with me for the next 30 minutes. It might sound like it's something that is, you know, plain and simple and it's just there. But sometimes we forget these things. You just need a small reminder, a small mind shift. You know, you might go on and say, oh, come and shop at my shop. We're open 24 hours. But if you explain to me why it's good to be open 24 hours, I will support your business. You know why? Because I want that convenience. If you just tell me batteries, um, you know, it, it comes with the batteries, what's the benefit of that for me to know that your, your, your product already comes with batteries? But if you tell me, oh, if the batteries are there, you will save your time, you, you know, time, money and effort. You know why? Because your kid just plugs and plays and you can go back to do whatever you want. So you don't have to fiddle with, you know, putting batteries and stuff like that on there. So what is the benefit of your product? And why would people pay you instead of paying Sally down the road? You know, it's because once you start knowing who your customer is, you need to really gather the exact amount of information that, you know, you, um, they, they, it comes from them. You know, their, their, their demography, their age, their sex, their household income, their family size. All of those things will help you formulate your marketing mas message because you know what? The features that you're trying to sell will benefit them. All right? So you would know how to actually strike their hot buttons. You would know how to strike their pain points. And you would actually tell them, you know why, Sally? You know why, Gen Genovina? You really need this product because last night you did not sleep well because you couldn't breathe. This product is going to help you breathe. But you only can say that when you know the outcome and the results of what your product is actually offering. Okay? So, you know, at the end of the day, some people for, forget to actually go in and create and relate for the people that are going to pay the money. If you don't know who you're selling to, how are you going to know what they want? Right? I think, uh, Phil, you're just being too romantic about stuff that's not really important can you type in what business you run so that i can see if it's worth answering these questions right now okay so at the end of the day you know whatever point of view you're coming from make the transaction as easy as possible for the customer make them realize why it's good to pay purchase from you make them realize why you are the best possible option there is on the market all right. So instead of you trying to peddle features, tell them why it's important to do business with you. What will they get? What are the results that they're actually going to get? 
And I see why you're in IT support. Of course, what you guys pedal is softwares and why, you know, it's important for somebody to have it. People buy features mainly in softwares. But when we're talking about the online space and when we're talking about stuff that really changes people's lives, people need to buy why what's in it for them. All right? You really got to start knowing why your product is needed in your customer's bookshelf, why your book is not going to be an extra dust collector, why your course is not going to be an extra dust collector, what are they going to be, you know, receiving at the end of every transaction with you. That's what people are purchasing. Okay, you want to start thinking in terms of results. You know, there's, there's nothing wrong with the term, you know, benefits or whatever. But if you just refocus and start saying, what are the results that people will get after transacting with me? Your dilemma is no longer going to be features and benefits. It's now just going to be features versus results. Now, how does that change your perception? Yeah, you now want to, you, you can just ask yourself, what are the results that somebody would get from buying this pen from me? What are the results that somebody would, 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 would get from, you know, doing business with me? Sell results. And that will also prompt you to be a better business person. All right. So because you now want to get results for all the people you're working with and that perpetuates your business, you start earning more money and you do it with less struggle. All right. So when you use this results approach and discovering, you know, your business benefits or whatever it is, you can be sure that your marketing messages um, that you use are going to reach your prospects at the right time, at the, with, the, with the right sort of mind frame. And they won't have to do all the heavy lifting to decide if they need your product or not. All right. This is the surest way to get a lot more business, guys. Start thinking in results. All right. What results are you going to be giving your customer and why should they pay you instead of Sully down the road? All right. OK, so when you learn this difference, guys, you will see the difference in your bank balance. In the meantime, guys, I really appreciate you tuning in. I really, really appreciate you standing in and all the comments. Let's continue this conversation in the bottom there. And those that have been participating, Joviana Brooks and everybody else, I really, really applaud you. Peter, you're just tuning in. Thank you so much, my man. Bye for now, guys.